Hey guys, it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I thought I would give you a sort of little mini, not really office tour, like desk tour I guess is what I'll call it. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole room because my office is actually also my bedroom, which is A, a mess right now, um, and B, you know, one of the areas of the house that I kind of want to keep private a little bit. I'm sure you guys understand. So, um, I will, just for reference, tell you that my office is just a sort of little nook in my bedroom. Behind me where I'm standing is my bed, um, and here is my desk and my little office setup. So, it is a bit of a mess. I just got it all set up within the last couple of weeks. I haven't really cleaned it. Um, I've just sort of been using it. I spend a lot of time here working on my Etsy shop. Uh, working on bills and helping kids with homework. So it's a very well used, well loved space. So um, I guess the main thing to talk about is the desk. This is the Linman, I think is how you say it, tabletop, and the Alex drawers. So it's an IKEA situation. Um, very, very affordable. I can list all of the details down below in terms of what the sizes of everything are. Um, I'll link to it if I can, but that's the basics of it. It's the Alex drawer unit here, the Linman tabletop. I can't remember what the the legs are called. There's two legs on the other side, and then the Alex add-on unit is on top. It was very affordable. I think the whole shebang cost me like 160 bucks can't be beat and um, I think it fits the space really really nicely so that is sort of the details on the desk my desk chair is old as dirt very well loved ripped scratched dirty but does the job I have no idea where it came from so this is my desk and this is sort of my setup I have a Samsung monitor up here which is actually not connected to anything because my desktop computer is in pieces here don't mind the mess uh, sorry about that um, my husband's in the process of fixing it up for me and getting it set up so that I can use it for purposes of my shop um, that will of course get set up here on the desktop it's just um, you know a work in progress so for now I'm using my laptop to do all my designing printing uh, etc. It's just an HP laptop, also very old and needs to be replaced at some point, but we'll get to it. On the desktop here, I have these beautiful flowers, and somebody on Instagram yesterday told me what the flowers are, and I can't remember, but I bought these at Kroger yesterday uh, for 99 cents a bunch, and there's two bunches in there. Um, they're just in a little vase that I made myself using Dollar Tree items, so it was a um, Dollar Tree vase and a candle holder that I just epoxied together to make this nice tall unit to be able to display my flowers and behind that is my nail polish rack which my husband actually is going to raise up for me a little bit so that it clears the bottom of the desk here and I can better access everything that is not all of my nail polish by the way if you guys are new to my channel I have a metric ton of it so there's that um, I also have my little candle. This is a Walnut 719 Avenue, whatever, 719 Walnut Avenue. I don't know what they're called. They're from Walmart. They're five bucks. It's in Rustic Lake's Lake House. It smells amazing. Um, also on my desktop here, I have a multitude of beverages because one is not enough. And there's a penny. Um, so I just have my water and my coffee. That's going to keep me hydrated and uh, energized for the day also have my computer screw. Like I said, I didn't clean up for this video, guys. Um, my son's hope beads. So if you're not familiar, my son, Austin, who is, gosh, nine now? Is he really nine? <gasps> wow. Um, <laughs> they grow up so fast. He has Hirschsprung's disease. He was born with it. Um, he has had many, many procedures and surgeries and things and um, the hope beads represent each one of the beads represents a different thing that happened over his multitude of hospital stays so there's a bead for um, blood work there's a bead for surgery there's a bead for you know everything so those are all of the procedures that he has been through 
and I just like to keep those nearby. Not necessarily on the desktop, that just happens to be where they are now. I had them hanging at one point and they fell down, but I like to keep those nearby. Anyways, um, what else can I share with you? So, oops, sorry, my phone's going nuts. So that's sort of that side of the tabletop. I also have a lotion and a hand sanitizer, very well used there. Um, some tissues, because it's the time of year when my nose is running constantly. Um, underneath the tissues is just a stack of paperwork that I need to get to, including my son's little emoji drawings. He's um, been helping me with ideas for the shop. He wants me to offer something like this in my shop, and those are the drawings he came up with. Look at the little smiling pineapple. He's so cute. Um, I also have my Echo Dot, which I love. Uh, next to my dot, I just have this little mail sorter. This is where I keep orders that are ready to go out to the post office. They just need to be um, labels put on them and uh, sealed up so that they can go out to the post office. So that's that. I have my Silhouette cutting machine here. That's what I use to make all of my stickers. Um, I have a tripod here that my husband hooked up to this super fancy uh, clamp so that I can do playing with me videos and overhead videos. I just hooked my camera to this and it points down at the desktop and that's where I film my videos um, where you just see my hands. So there's that. And I have this little towel here under the clamp just to protect the desktop from getting scratched. I know, super, super fancy setup, right guys? Um, over to the left of that, I have this shelving unit. I have all of my planners and things up there. I still have to finish filling this out, but I have all the paper that I use for my shop, my printer. Um, that's basically it down here. I have mailers and just some other odds and ends. I need to get some baskets for those bottom shelves, but I'm still getting things set up there on the floor. Some more super fancy setup. I have a tripod and some umbrella lights for when I'm filming. I also have a tripod here and some more of those fancy lights. And that's pretty much it for that. I have my slippers under here. I just actually bought these. You know, put those on just as soon as I'm done filming this so I can get to work. My trash can, which needs emptied. Yet another tripod. My scale. And that is a vinyl backdrop for filming and taking photos. You can see there's sticker remnants on the floor, stuck to the floor. That's the hazard of having a sticker shop. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go into my drawers really quick, even though there's nothing super exciting in here and they're not at all organized, so please don't judge me. So the top drawer has pens. These are not nearly all of my pens. Um, these are just the pens I'm using currently. I have about 150,000 more. Um, in other areas of the house. I have some sugar-free candy that I keep here just for, you know, when I need a little pick-me-up. Um, stickers, there are stickers absolutely everywhere in my little office, and none of them are where they should be. Um, my tablet, this is a little holster for my cell phone, which is here at all times. Um, I've got some paper clips back there. And that's pretty much it for that drawer. Drawer numero two is all packaging materials. So I have various size cello bags. I have my, um, so my, what are these? My seals for those bags with my shop logo. I have, um, misfit bags here, grab bags here, and, um, samplers these are all things that I keep printed and ready to send out. I am a made-to-order shop, so when you order stickers from me, um, I print them and cut them kind of as the orders come in, but these things I keep on hand at all times. So the Misfit bags are full of things that I have um, either miscut or that aren't like perfect, and grab bags are just extra things that are in perfect condition that didn't sell for whatever reason or that I had multiples of that I... Um, I'm in the process of putting together so I can list those in my shop. Drawer number three is my cutting mat, a paper cutter, and a, um, this is a punch for my happy planner. Drawer number four is empty. Yeah. And down in this bottom drawer is just some tax information, receipts, 
um, stuff like that, stuff that, you know, it's nobody's business. So that's kind of it for my little mini office tour slash desk tour slash whatever you want to call it. I don't know if this was interesting at all to anyone, but um, just thought I'd share. Oh, I didn't go through these drawers. So in this drawer, it is a huge hodgepodge of a mess. I have stickers and washi tape and things that I still need to haul on my YouTube channel. I have also a whole, I also have a whole bunch of sticky notes and some sticker scraps that I need to um, actually put away. That's not where they belong, but um, the sticky notes belong in there, but the stickers do not. Those are just stickers from my shop. And then in this drawer over here, behind all of my beverages, is just, um, this is where the sticker scraps belong, actually. These are um, leftovers from kits that I've used, brand new stickers from my shop, from other people's shops. These are like my personal sticker stash. So um, these are all the stickers that I actually use and a receipt that does not belong in there. So as you can see, I'm not at all well organized, despite... Um, that's my phone. Anyways, that's going to do it now for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't too terribly boring. Maybe you found it helpful. I don't know. If you guys have any organization tips for an office, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe so you never miss a video, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.